and legal principles that I am going to be talking about a bull. The kindness is a language which deaf can hear and the blind can see. How did IT change the way of living? No, that was a wonderful music, isn't it? I was just, I was just going with it. Just really motivating. It just maintains that high energy. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Facebook, YouTube live, um, hosted by Anderson Haran from pufferfish.lk. So we got one of the, one of the most interesting topics ever. The best advice that you have received or you'd like to give it give to someone so basically advices are like they're everywhere just go and meet any random person they will always have an advice to give but the problem is we feel like there's too much advice i can't take it it's too much i cannot handle it and then your brain is like okay give me the best ones maybe i can work on them so how you evaluate the best ones is by feeling connected to it through a life experience. So when someone comes and then tells you an advice with a good example or a life experience, you're like, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, I listen to it. But if someone just comes and like, wake up at 8 a.m., exercise, eat, and you're like, okay, okay, no. So it's a little difficult. So always remember you, will have a reason to give advice to someone and if you want them to really feel inspired and to follow it you should have a good example or a story with a reason why that's the best advice so that will stay in the long term that's my advice to you all <laughs> an advice on advice interesting all right without further ado let's invite our first speaker Asmat, share us your thoughts. What's the best advice you have received or you'd like to give? Over to you. Okay. Hello and good evening, everyone. Today, I'm here to speak about the topic of the best advice that I have got. Everybody in the world has at least one good advice they have got from their life. So do I. The best advice that I have got from is from my father. It is called don't give up and hard work pays off. So let's move on to the background story of the advice. The one thing that you didn't know about me is that I was a student of Abacus. For everyone who doesn't know what Abacus is, it is an international recommended class which connects with maths. More than 100,000 of students studies in this class. We use the device called Abacus to do all the mathematical stuff. One day, I got a message from, uh, from the master of Abacus telling that there will be a all island national competition around next month. I was so nervous. There will be like thousands of students competing on different papers on different levels. So, the sooner I got the message, I started practicing every day. I did like 
six to seven papers a day. I was so exhausted, but I kept on doing it. One day, I was so exhausted that I almost give, give up on the paper. That's when my father came and told me that don't give up and hard work always pays off. So, I kept that motivation on my mind and I went working as usual. That means more than usual. I went, I kept doing papers more like eight to nine a day. Finally, the competition arrived. There were like thousands of students. I was so nervous. But, however, I did, did my best on the paper. Finally, at the evening, the results were out. I was so shocked that I was the champion on my level. I was so nervous, but until after the after I be I was being the champion, I was so happy that everything that my father said was true. So that's one of the most powerful advices that I have got from my life. I hope everybody enjoyed my speech. Thank you. All right, thank you, Azmat. I think that was really wonderful. Like What's very interesting about that is most of us don't know if we are going to succeed. We might even have that possibility of like 90% of success uh, story is there. Like 90% I might be able to succeed, but still that 10% pushes us back. So I think that's a similar story happened to you. You're like 99% you, there's a possibility of you winning, but you're like, no, I'm going to quit. And then finally, I'm glad your father came and gave you an advice and then you became a champion. I love Abacus. Abacus, is it? I have never tried it. But I know people just do a lot of mental calculations, like big numbers, and it was really fascinating. All right. Thank you for sharing that, Azmat. Next up, let's listen to what Anya got to say. Anya, over to you. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm Anya De Silva, and today I am going to talk to you about the best advice I have ever received. Now, I'm pretty sure all of us here have at least gotten one advice or more. Yeah, I really hope you have. So now this advice was given way back in 2022. I had just gotten a new class teacher and was getting a bit nervous about setting up a good reputation. A few weeks later, this teacher became so close enough to be called a mother figure. She was quite young, but very wise. Every day, she would teach us about the world and how we must be mentally strong enough for the challenges we will have to face. Then came the day when we had to do a certain project. I had prepared really well. I wasn't the kind of girl who would go on the spot or try to wing it. No. After all, luck only comes with hard work and no task is beneath you if you try hard enough. Everything was coming along beautifully. A nice speech, beautiful pictures, and most of all, an organized plan. There was no problem at all. Until we were called when we weren't ready. We needed at least 15 minutes to get the place decorated and run through our script again. But there was no time. We had to speak immediately, and it was going horribly. We were all caught in an unexpected wave, and we didn't know what to do. Everyone was infected by this odd plague of stuttering, stammering, and accidentally bumping on each other, as there was some movement involved. We all tried to do it perfectly, and it was all in ruins. But my teacher understood our yearning for perfection, but told us that we mustn't try to impress everyone because no matter how hard we try, someone will be cheering silently for our downfall. Life isn't fair because fair isn't getting what we want. Fair is getting what we need and trying to make the best out of it. So I guess I'm really trying to say is try. Try really, really, really hard Walk to the end of the line. Don't care what other people think of you unless they only seek your improvement. And remember these two things. One, 
Dreams remain dreams until you take action. Try hard because time doesn't redo itself. There aren't second chances. Whatever, whatever it is you want to do, do it now so you will never regret it. And two, when you quit, you fail. Just because things are hard doesn't mean the answer is to walk away. Whatever path you're going on right now will pay off when you meet your destination on the other side of the road. It will be hard. There will be challenges. But you must not quit. Be patient. Because trust me, one day it will pay off. Thank you all for listening. I hope you learned something new. That was, that was powerful. Thank you, Anya. And uh, while you were giving me that story, I, I remembered something very recently I have watched. Uh, we all know the popular singer, Ed Sheeran. Right? We all think uh, we all know that he's one of the best singers. Yes, he, he got the best voice. And recently on a talk show, he plays his first ever voice recording at school or something with music. And then everyone is like, yeah, it's going to be the best singing anyway, because you you are born with talent. And then he plays that song and it's worse. It's really bad. His voice is not getting along the high pitch, low pitch, everything is worse. And then he says, people born with talent is not really true. You develop over time by failing and trying and failing. And, you know, most of the people just lose track when they try to impress someone and it doesn't go well. Okay, I quit. And only the people who really want to impress themselves they keep on doing it until they get the perfect version. So Ed Sheeran has a very like perfect voice, but nobody, nobody knew the beginning. So thank you for sharing that. And it actually reminded me to share that as well. All right, perfect. Let's listen to what uh, Femida got to say. Femida, over to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Femida. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the best advice I ever got. The best advice I ever got was from my class teacher who teached us last year. Me and my team was organizing committee for a special event. We were supposed to organize an event which was an environment friendly from the environment club. So we were representing our school, we were representing the club, the whole club. The teacher in charge selected some students from the whole club and made an organizing team. So I was the assistant leader. We organized a beach beach cleaning event. The organizing team, I mean us, we were like very excited uh, till some of the members in the club started to disagree. Uh, it always happens like when we had some event, people always disagree, but I didn't realize it was hard. I didn't realize how hard it was till it happened to us. So the whole organizing team, we were all very upset as we already had made the project proposal and submitted it and got the approval as well. And we already had made an announcement in our uh, official page. So it was a bit embarrassing if we changed it at once. So one morning we were in our class as usual. Our class teacher was teaching her subject. So we found it very difficult to concentrate with the pressure we had in our mind. And we were like so confused. We were like, what to do? We had no idea how to change it. It would be like so weird if we change it at once. So we were all very upset. So we started to discuss the issue in the class as we didn't have any other time to discuss. So we were discussing the matter while the teacher was teaching. The teacher noticed it uh, when we when like we were about 10 people. So she obviously would notice it when 10 of her students are not listening to her subject and we were like, talking and discussing things. So but she were, but she didn't tell us anything. She just told us to keep quiet. And just asked us to uh, concentrate on the class. I suppose she must have noticed our serious and worried faces. So, and then after the class, she asked us to uh, she asked us to stay back. So, and she asked us to stay back, and she asked what was the problem? Is everything okay and stuff? And like we told her, like we we're having so much pressure, and we needed to tell it to someone. So we told her that the issue was this and that. And then she told us, uh, and that time that was the time she gave us the best advice. Not only me, our whole team, we agree that it was the best advice we ever got in a whole entire life. I mean, we haven't got many advices. We have got many advices every single day. 
we get an advice but not all of them are very rememberable even today morning i got an advice but it was not very inspiring and i mean this is a thing that really happened to me so i could understand it, i could feel it so what she told was she told us to keep calm and face the situation very well that no matter what we do at least one will find an issue one will find his fault and that we are not born to please everybody we are not born to please others and as far as we know what we do is correct there is nothing to be afraid of or worried and i and asked us to carry out with a plan and not to be discouraged she asked us to carry on it with carry on with it she asked us to do it uh, she asked us to give our best on it so um yeah we were dis- uh, we, di- we were discouraged and after what she told we again discussed and we were like okay fine whatever other people tell okay we already got the approval the teacher agreed with us some of our members agreed with us it's only just a few who doesn't agree so if they don't agree okay fine there's nothing we can do about it uh and we were agreeing and like everybody most of the people agreed that it was the best thing we could do so uh, we just carried on with our plan and it was a huge success and then everybody was really happy so yeah so i would like to advise all of you that you will always find uh, somebody who disagree with you you i mean most of you might have uh, faced on such situations no matter what we do if we know it's correct just carry on with it don't try to please everyone because you're not born to please others it's your life and you have the right to make decisions um you have the right to make decisions in your life so i hope uh, you all will be encouraged with whatever the thing you do lift your heads up forwards and walk straight you might fail get back onto your feet and yeah thank you very much all right thank you famida for sharing that and um, definitely like we always are afraid of making mistakes and what will happen if that happens what will happen if this happens we are not prepared for that and then the whole point is you try to perfect your plan perfect 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 at the end you feel like there are still a couple of things that we are not sure of and we completely drop that plan but rather most of the times you start executing it with with whatever you have planned and you find you figure a lot of things out on your way so you'll be like oh this works oh i didn't know that works and and i think that's one of the best things about you know directly going for it you have a good plan or basic plan fine do not do not put it away just get into it try to execute it figure things out on your way um wonderful All right, thank you Famida for sharing that. Next Mr. Mon, what's the best advice you have got or you'd like to give? What are your thoughts? Uh I got this advice from my mother. Uh she told me that time management is very important because if you wait to do things at the last minute, you might not be able to finish it. because of maybe malfunctions or any other things and if you do it earlier you get more free times to do anything and any other things all right okay has that ever happened to you though like you were not able to prioritize time or failed at some sort of a time related issue uh yes uh i got very low marks because i wasn't managing time good to study for exams and tests okay i think that's one relatable example for everyone including myself <laughs> so when the exam is very close we are like oh okay i got one entire day to study all the 100 subjects and 200 sub modules and 400 sub sub modules and it becomes extremely difficult for you to even plan something and what we do is oh we have the entire day and we are not going to waste even a single second we are going to study from the morning evening while eating i'm going to study while 
while uh, i don't know i think while eating is the only thing while walking i'm on a study but actually we we forget how brain works your brain can't process that much of information at a stretch so we all create timetables but are we creating the practical timetable is is the question like are we allocating like a every hour 10 minute break or every 30 minutes 5 minute break so in that way number one you, it's very practical you can stick to it and number two your brain is like relaxed and then okay it's 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 like okay i need a 5 minute break uh okay all right now now give me more your brain is like give me more oh you take another 5 minute break okay uh, all right okay you got more subjects okay okay now i'm ready give me more i think it will be really practical and helpful so maybe i think that's the best advice even i have received in the recent past plan your timetable but in a very practical way you need to have break times you need you need have you need to have time to relax yourself and then go back to your studies so i hope whoever is watching this live will get that idea from us as well all right everyone so we have got a lot of great advices and let's keep on searching for great advices with great stories and examples and good facts you know scientific facts if there are scientific facts that would add a lot of value like when you give a percentage people are like 80% of the people you're like 80% of the people you know it, it makes a lot of sense when there are percentages and facts coming in all right so that was a great live today and i'm hoping to see you all on wednesday next wednesday until then everyone have a great life we're rolling we're rolling excellent right be it on stage off stage at a boardroom meeting in a conference name the location it does not really matter if you lack communication skills you're always going to feel uncomfortable even if it's a one on one conversation with a good friend or even facing something that is absolutely crucial like an interview communication skills is the most important element that everybody is looking for why are they looking for good communication skills let's understand this communications connect one another they bring you and groups of people together they help you bring about the message that you have and what it is that you want to bring out of yourself in order for people to have faith trust and understand what it is that you understand differently communications help understand the differences and the similarities of people join the icp